fuck at you. Shut bro. the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I ain't giving permission hey, to speak. Hey, he only likes to tell the world half of the story. In mid 2016, he joined a Lexington street gang by the name of Y.E.N. The rapper's right hand man, Kenneth Jackson, would be arrested on two bodies after being on the run for months with Punch Made Death. Around the same time, the Internet Reaper himself would be arrested on multiple charges, including trafficking fentanyl, receiving stolen property, possession of marijuana, engaging in organized crime. The stories of the Internet Reaper have come to haunt rappers, innocent people, and the entire world today. Wherever Punch Made Dev's name is mentioned, the mention of his name makes civilians quiver and grown men shudder. But not everyone knows why the Internet Reaper has this effect. Some insider sources who have encountered the Internet Reaper before he gained such popular notoriety have agreed to share their experiences about how he has haunted the entire online world. On the deepest parts of the Internet lies one of the most dangerous places in the world, better known as the Dark Web. Over the years, fraud has become a major problem in today's society due to the influence of the Internet Reaper, aka Punch Made Dev, Lexington, Kentucky, Houston, Texas, Chicago, Illinois, are all cities the infamous Punch Made Dev was raised in through his childhood. But not many know the history of how Punch Made Dev got his name and status. Originally born in Lexington, Kentucky, the rapper had a rough upbringing despite coming from a middle class family. Punch Made Dev comes from a troubled single mother home. Growing up, the rapper was a multi sport athlete excelling well at all three sports basketball, football, and track. Dev attended Lafayette High School of Lexington, Kentucky. DJs will likely be difficult for Lafayette High School students. And the principal confirmed the two 15-year-olds shot on Garden Springs Drive are students at the school. Police found two 15-year-olds shot shortly after 10:15 last night. Now, this is not the first time the school has lost one of its students to gun violence. In October of 2016, Trinity Gay was shot and killed, and in January of 2017, Bobby Durham was also killed. Both times, counselors worked with students at the school for a while to make sure everyone was okay, and now they'll have to do it all over again. Joining the basketball team after moving there his freshman year in 2015. Around the same time, he began his YouTube career creating various gaming videos, playing the series NBA 2K, after his mother struggled to afford a pair of shoes he wanted. The year 2016 birthed the beginning of the Internet Reaper, the start of a dark path for Punch made Dev that has destroyed millions of lives in the past decade. It all began at the age of 15, when Dev would start scamming innocent people looking to buy high overall 2K accounts. This monster would use his Twitter platform to promote 2K accounts with 99 overall players using PC mods to make it appear legit. With Dev to fight scamming, Please make sure to like this video and share this video to all your friends. Do not buy anything from them. True, it was like a SS3 account for $50. I'm like, I had I had to get it. It was like it's a like SS3 account like come with eight players. It had um and so I sent him the money. And he said it didn't go through. With this technique, he was able to make his first large amount of money estimating to be around ten thousand dollars. With such quick success at the age of 15, the young scammer was willing to commit any crime for some quick money. With little to no relationship with his family like any other troubled kid, he naturally gravitated towards the wrong crowd. Dev desperately tries to hide his troubled criminal past, and pretends to be a rich, privileged kid from the suburbs who grew up gaming and pulling harmless scams. This is far from the truth he only likes to tell the world half of the story. 2016 was a big turning point for the infamous rapper, resulting in him deleting his entire gaming channel and the start of his newly found music and criminal career. In mid-2016, he joined a Lexington street gang by the name of YEN, standing for Young East Ninjas. He would then shoot his first music video with a gang member by the name of Eastside Davo, called Two for Two in the gang's territory. Kenny with Draco. I'm pulling them shit like peso. Slide, slide on a nigga, let the K blow. You a broke boy, come on, fake old. Yen would waste no time to put Dev to the test his first time on the block. Dev arrived to the two for two music video shoot with a designer MCM backpack, chrome eight Jordans, and a Cuban necklace. While sitting on the porch, OG Herb, a Yen member, walked up to Dev and pointed a barrel right between the rapper's eyes. He wasted no time and started demanding Dev to hand over his bag 
chains and shoes. Dev refused to give in despite possibly being seconds away from losing his life. This was just a test that would raise the respect for Dev through the entire hood. Dev would then quickly move to a leadership role despite his suburban upbringing due to his leadership skills and financial status. He would start providing for the gang early on with firearms and drugs, using his status to direct various hits and the sale of contraband. The rapper would buy studio equipment and encourage other members of the gang to start making music themselves, often recording, engineering, and producing songs for the gang. Wake up, go and get a bed, cause I can't go back no. broke. Fake love always on my phone and that shit getting old. Can't go to sleep without the pistol, gotta keep a bow. Gang strapped up with that missile, leave your body cold. This how I live, this shit gotta turn the fuck around. Got Dev would start to build a name for himself online with consistent music videos. With all this success, it made it nearly impossible for him to stay out of drama due to the hate in his hometown. This would lead to a war claiming many of the lives and freedom of the people involved. What started as a quiet Sunday afternoon quickly turned to chaos at Fayette Mall. Police and other first responders rushing from all directions after someone opened fire inside the mall, killing a man and injuring two bystanders. The rapper's right-hand man, Kenneth Jackson, would be arrested on two bodies after being on the run for months with Punch made Dev. Around the same time, the Internet Reaper himself would be arrested on multiple charges, including trafficking fentanyl, receiving stolen property, possession of marijuana, and engaging in organized crime alongside a lengthy list of Yen members. Devin was later acquitted of all charges with the help of his high-power attorney, Matt Boyd, after beating his case, he would completely distance himself from the gang, completely dropping all ties and putting his full focus into fraud in 2021, making noise with the song, How to Write a Dump, and others solely based on scamming. At this time, Dev was pulling phones, dropping checks, and committing wire fraud. Punch made Dev would start to bubble on social media, flexing his scams and large amounts of cash online. Surely this would draw the wrong attention, bringing jealousy from his peers and put a target on his back from the police. On August 21st, the rapper would go to take pictures at an ATM. Two men ran around the corner with guns pointed, only to be met by a fully prepared punch made Dev. He loves to reminisce and brag on this story in multiple songs. First me, I grabbed pole and then took a step back. Then another one popped out with Drake and then upped in my face. I didn't hesitate, I upped my pole, started busting their way. I look around the corner. And it was literally like a nigga with, like, dreads, masks, gloves, like, hoodie, everything. One of the robbers was shot in the stomach three times while the other left unharmed. Dev was then seen fleeing the scene wearing jewelry consisting of a watch and a diamond pendant, resembling a anonymous mask speeding off in a red Alfa Romeo. Footage was obtained by an inside source, but will not be shown in the video because of YouTube guidelines. This event would cause him to move out of Lexington, Kentucky, landing him in Houston, Texas. He didn't learn his lesson, and trouble would quickly follow him here after posting large sums of cash on his story. The Harris County Police Department obtained a search warrant to the residence in which they confiscated multiple firearms, $250,000 plus in cash, and jewelry from the rapper. After such a big loss, Dev started using his following to further his scam empire, posting on his story informing his community to bring him Chase, Bank of America, and other various major banks in the hopes of using their accounts to commit check and wire fraud. This would gain the attention of a YouTuber by the name of Tommy G, who created a documentary on the impressive scams of Devi. In this video, he goes into full detail teaching the audience multiple scams and quick money schemes. You would think with the amount of exposure he received that he would be put behind bars in no time. The Internet Reaper claims to be untouchable, but only time will tell. The Feds are known for letting criminals continue to commit crimes to allow them to stack the charges, making it easier for them to put them in jail for good. The punch made organization stretch as much farther than Lexington, Kentucky. He's gifted multiple rappers and gang members punch made chains like Bando KD and Die Y from Chicago. Bando KD is a part of a dangerous street gang in Southside Chicago by the name of M Block. 
M Block is famous for sparking at ops on live, going on high speed chases, and pointing guns at the police. M Block is a dangerous Chicago gang known for their recklessness. Like this video of them pulling up to the police and pulling out a gun and peeling off in the SRT, taking the police on a high speed chase. To even getting his shootouts on live. I know y'all. They not waiting. Wait. Plus, they even talk on live with their apps about the murders they commit. Dev would find himself in trouble again after being arrested in Chicago for a switch and charged with possession of an automatic weapon and unlawful carry. He was also acquitted of these charges. Folks should have stayed out of Chicago, but at least he bonded out. And the reason why I say he shouldn't came to Chicago, because Chicago is real petty. Trap Boy Dre 10K, a rapper from the 10K set in Houston, who is responsible for multiple bodies, including popping a rapper in the head and deleting their grandma. You know, you bounce back as quickly, you know, as you did, because, you know, a headshot, that shit ain't, that shit ain't nothing to play with. Yeah, of course, hell nah. You feel me? That shit. A nigga good. Facing a total of five murder charges after doing a drill on a rival rapper that left part of his skull missing and murdering a random couple because he thought they were his enemy's grandparent. He also gifted the XXL rapper Ugly God, now going by FEO, a punch made chain who was just exposed for smoking his best friend's dad in cold blood. Ugly God blew up in the SoundCloud era and was known for being one of the goofiest and least serious dudes in the game. But now he's making headlines for allegedly murdering his best friend's dad. Police in Gulfport, Mississippi responded to a call of shots fired and found a dude named Ronaldo De La Valde dead inside of his whip. They arrested the shooter at the scene without any issues, and at the time, the murder ain't making any news outside of the local area. It's safe to say Punch Made is full of not only scammers, but cold-blooded body catchers. The Internet Reaper has been in his own long-lasting beef with the rapper TJX6, in which didn't last long. TJ claims Dev stole his style and is his son. Lexington residents have reported that the rapper paid shooters to light up TJ's house while TJ and his baby mother was inside. Tonight, Lexington police investigating a shooting in the East End. The call came from the 200 block of East 4th Street around 7.30 tonight. Police say one person was taken from the scene with a non-life-threatening gunshot wound. Dev then deleted his entire Instagram and took down YouTube videos that TJ would post, ending his career putting the entire rap industry in fear of punch made. A year later, they would run into each other at the mall where Dev would record a viral video and go live talking about the situation. What, what about when he ran up on you in the mall? He didn't ran up on me in the mall. What, he did? He, was, he didn't want to fight? No, he didn't. No, I didn't want to fight. It was three niggas and a gun. Another important part of Dev's image is his jewelry. A TikToker posted a video trying to expose Dev for having fake jewelry. The rapper would quickly post a response video providing full proof and beating all allegations. Over time, he would gain a large amount of dedicated haters who have been scammed by Dev himself. After his new credit card chain went viral, like many other rap chains, other manufacturers would start to make replicas in a desperate attempt to gain clout and get back at Dev for scamming them. Haters started buying replica chains, posting videos online, claiming to have snatched the rapper's chain. Punch would quickly put these rumors to rest as well. This chain right here, my credit card chain, any of my chains, Never left my neck. Y'all gotta stop believing these clock chasing ass niggas, man. They get, they get, they get jugged and then they go get angry. After they get jugged and they make a fake, fake love. Most of us would love to see Punch made Dev behind bars, chain snatched and exposed, but it has yet to happen. There have been many attempts to bash Dev by other jealous people or his innocent victims, but nobody has yet to finish this man. I myself, along with a few others who have helped me write this documentary, personally grew up with Punch Made Dev, and 
and absolutely do not stand for what he does. Will he ever come to an end? Only time will tell if this dirtbag will end up in prison or jail or neither. <laughs>